Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Link Collects here. And today we're gonna be unboxing my very first One Piece trading card game. So this is a, a deck starter pack. One Piece Absolute, I mean the starter deck, Absolute Justice One Piece. We got here the picture of a Kaino. Uh, sorry, I don't have a background yet, so this will just do for now. Uh, I got a Kaino here. So I think this pack will contain, you know, characters from from the marine ford uh war arc when they try to save ace so it tells you here the the characters that we're gonna get here uh sakazuki kobe Django, smoker sengoku tashigi suru hina full body helmepo momonga monkey de garp t-bone shockwave and great eruption whiteout navy headquarters Great eruption. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a kind of skill. All right, so 50 card deck. There's one leader card and, and a play sheet. All right, okay. This is brought to you by Bandai. So Bandai has been like on this uh, card business. They've been printing Hero Academia and One Piece. I hope they also, you know, start doing Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man. I'm trying not to destroy the box. So. Oh, gee. Okay, it's kind of. I'm just trying to save this one. Oh, okay. Here, I think this is okay. This is the sort of like the the map. Your card, stage card, deck card. Refresh face, draw face, dawn face, main face, end face, dawn deck, cost area, trash. It's the life. I really understand this card game. I'm more interested in the characters and the art. That's the main reason why I purchased trading card games for the artwork. And they are collectible. Not really interested in playing the game itself. Got too many things going on in life, guys, so I can't be bothered with playing games anymore. So we got it here. This is just like a plastic, I mean, a cardboard. And you get your cards. There's no plastic seal in this one, just, you know. A simple plastic that holds them together. Put that on the side. Okay, I don't want to break this one. I don't want to screw this up. Oh, I think I'm pretty sure I will by the time I remove this. Back. That's it. It's screwed. Okay. What is this? Your turn. Is that a Japanese thing? Okay, we don't need this one, do we? So I don't really understand what is what are these for because I don't play the card game. So, okay, we got a foil Akainu right here. It's a beautiful, it's not etched, it's just, you know, plain foil card. Uh, the quality on this card, it, this is the leader card that they were talking about. So, oh, where is that thing? So we're just gonna put that one there. Uh, leader card Akainu. Put on the side, and then we got Smoker right here. It's actually, yeah, this is actually nice. I like the artwork here. It doesn't look like, you know, the, the one piece, the, the usual artwork in the anime. This one does, but not this. This is like a special artwork. Two Akainas, right, I mean, two Smoker right here. Then we got, we got here Garp. Are these gonna be foil? All of them foil? Garp Secho. I don't know if I said it right. Then we got here. Okay, non foil. So we only got like five cards that are foil. We got Kobe that is not non foil card. Then we got here Django. Sengoku. Man, I was expecting the Buddha form. Or at least, you know, not just this, full uniform. Uh, Tashiki. Wait a second. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This I was just thinking of the long hair Tashiki. That was the post 
uh, time skip Shigi. Tsuru. Okay. We got Hina. Uh, full body. So it's just simple artwork. So it's a mixture. I mean, look. Helmeppo and Kobe. She's got beautiful artwork right here. But full body and Django, it was just, you know, even Hina, it was just a simple anime artwork. But okay, it's a mixture. It would be nice if they, you know, they focus on just one artwork instead of just mixing it, you know. I think it would be more interesting. That's just my opinion. But anyway, uh, it's still neat though, the way it was printed. Uh, so that's Momonga. I actually forgot who Momonga was until I... I so his face, like, oh, okay, yeah, it was him. The vice admiral, the one who tried to get a uh, bow Hancock. Okay, T Bone. I actually forgot who this was. T Bone. Zoro defeated him uh, during the Ennis Lobby arc. Yeah. Okay, now we're talking. We got the Buddha here, Sengoku, doing the shockwave thing. Against the Blackbeard Pirates, and we can see here Blackbeard Teach, Marshall the Teach. I wonder if, yeah, he's he's Devil Fruit. It's pretty interesting. Blackbeard should steal his Devil Fruit, eh? Okay, the Great Eruption. Okay, that's a kindness fist right there. I don't see him though. Draw one card, then give up to one of your opponent's characters. Okay, I don't I don't play the game, so I don't understand. Your opponent chooses one card from their hand and trashes it. Okay. Wiped out. Okay, I was wondering what was wiped out. So it was Smoker's attack. <laughs> I think it's it's lame. The way they call it. Wide out. Okay, this is nice. I like this. I have an idea. Oh, look at those. It has a complete photo of the setup of the Marines before the execution because you got the Giants right there. That's really interesting. If they're going to keep this up, I might, you know, consider collecting uh, places for, for this One Piece thing, One Piece card game. Because if... I'm not sure if I'm going to be collecting these cards. Not a single Straw Hat crew. They're all Marines. Not even a single Warlord. Or at least a, a White Beard Pirate. So, what do you guys think of this product? Do you think you guys played a trading card uh, One Piece game? Is it is it enjoyable? Let me know in the comment section. Then again, uh, if you guys enjoy watching this video, please consider a like or perhaps subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.